Then the associate was like, I understand that, honey. Not honey. <laughs> Wouldn't be right if I didn't come back without choking. <clears throat>Andrea if you're new here and if you are feel free to hit that subscribe button down below and to my OG subscribers thanks for tuning back in and welcome back to another video okay first things first I want to apologize for my absence here on YouTube I have been trying to take care of my mental health you guys know I stress that um, at the end of every video I stress that you guys need to take care of that as well you know just trying to just stay sane <laughs> So my birthday is this month on the 26th and I don't know what it is but for the past I would say like five or six years every time my birthday approaches I get into this like mental state that like oh my gosh I'm supposed to be so much further in life um I don't have the things I want at this point that I thought I was gonna have but I also have to realize that it's God's timing right so he's not gonna give me something that he doesn't think I'm ready for so I just try to keep that mindset and just know that I just need to keep working keep making myself um, ready for the blessings because I feel like you have to prepare yourself for the blessings that God has for you or else you won't be able to handle it message so I was like nope today even though it's gloomy outside I have my lamp back here hopefully it's helping it but it's actually looking kind of yellow. It's not that yellow in real life. But I didn't want to wait any longer. It's coming up on almost three weeks that I haven't put out a video, which is actually really ridiculous. Um, so yeah, I'm feeling better now. I hope you guys are doing well. I know seasonal depression is a real thing. So just make sure you're taking care of yourselves. And actually, I'm going to take back my apology. I don't apologize for being gone because I was taking care of my well-being and trying not to feel stressed or overwhelmed. But I do... I will do better. How about that? I'll do better because I feel better. All right, so on to better and more positive things. Even though you guys haven't seen me on camera, I am constantly, even when I'm supposed to be resting and taking a break from life, I'm constantly working on content. So in my off-camera time, I have been, you know, getting some retail therapy. So needless to say, today will be a haul. It's all about trends that I have been loving. And I don't even necessarily feel like they're trends because I feel like... They were trendy, but I feel like in my design style, they are timeless pieces. Um, pieces that I'm going to use for years and years to come. So, first trend is going to be bold marble. I have loved marble since... I can't even remember. Um, I just love how elegant and looks it makes a place feel. And I honestly don't feel like this is going anywhere anytime soon. So if somebody tells you that, don't listen to it. Cause I won't sit here and listen to your lies. It's all lies, okay? I love all kinds of marble. I love the veining. I love the colors. Um, they just... I don't know, they really speak to me. I feel like you're never going to find two pieces of marble that are exactly the same. Unless they're manufactured, which means they're not real marble. Um, whether that be a slab or a marble accent piece, I've just never come across a piece that looks exactly like another one. The veining is usually different, color variation, all of that. So it really gives you a unique piece in your home that nobody else is going to have. With that being said, I want to share this piece. If you have been following me for a while, I, bleh, I can't even, <laughs> I don't even know how to do this anymore. Oh my gosh, this feels so foreign. Oh, let me get it together. Okay. If you have been following me for a while, you know I have been eyeing this Plinth Marble coffee table for like over a year. And I finally decided this is the year I'm going to purchase it. I deserve it. I've been working really hard and I really want to reward myself. Now. How fast it gets here is another story because apparently there are ships that are stuck in the water with people's shipments in it and that makes me really anxious but I'm still going to order it because I, I just, I've been looking at it for a while. I feel like it's such a big investment and every time I look at it, I don't feel like it, I'll regret buying it. You know what I'm saying? So I'm definitely going to get it. But in the meantime and in between time, I got these pieces 
off Etsy. These were actually listed as statue holders, like vases. Um, so you can like sit it here, have like a figurine or whatever you want um, on top of it. But I actually bought them as coasters, not realizing how big they are. Like I didn't. I, I read the dimensions, but I wasn't thinking they're going to be this huge. Um, but I love them. I really, really love them. I bought some glasses that I am going to be showing you in a little bit. So don't click off. <laughs> I bought some new drinking glasses finally that I had been eyeing for a while and I felt like I needed some something really nice to put them on. So I came across these. They are rose marble and I am so in love. I cannot wait to get this in table form. Um, but I wanted to get these to put my glasses on, you know, just so I can feel a little fancy, a little upscale. And I got these. They are handmade. Like I said, I got them on Etsy and they were pretty penny up. <laughs> I'm actually kind of ashamed to say how much I paid for these. Um, they were like fifty two dollars. <laughs> They're kind of expensive, but I just wanted to treat myself. Like I said, it was retail therapy, so whatever. And it was actually a chance for me to get a good feel for how my table would look because I've seen the table, you know, on Instagram, on Pinterest, but I've never seen it in real life. And I actually have never seen rose marble in real life. Um, I've never been to like a stone yard or anything. So these are my little pieces. This is one of them. This one has more of a, can you see that? Oh. Okay, so this one has more of a grayish tone than the other one, but it's still really beautiful. I just love the veining in it. And even on the bottom, Oh, it's so good. So I can't wait to um, put my drinking glasses on these. And this one, focus, okay. So this one has more of that cream, which I love as well. And oh my gosh, like look at that on the side. How can you not love this? It's like a platform, it's so, so good. Um, I cannot wait to use these. And you can actually, these are actually gonna be multi-purpose. Right now, I think I'm gonna use them as a coaster when I figure out how to seal them because you guys know marble is really porous. So I do wanna seal them so they don't get ruined. But like I said, if I end up getting like a, um, like a sculpture or something, I can put this on. I've seen these pieces, like, not these pieces, but like, non non-conventional pieces that people mount up on their walls for decor um i've seen a tabletop like okay i don't know how to explain this i've seen a table that had a a top like this so if i wanted to i can repurpose this like maybe drill a hole or use some glue and make like a little drink table i can use this to set up like a candle like a little if i want to go outside and sit on my patio i can set like a little candle on here create a little vibe i can even probably use this as like a book end because it is um you know flat on the bottom so i can use this as a book end if i wanted to as well it's just very multi-purpose I, I'm just so glad I got it. Um, like I said, it was kind of pricey, but it's handmade. Um, no one else is going to have anything that's exactly like this, like even these two pieces. This is what I was saying before when I said you'll never see two pieces that are exactly the same. These don't look remotely the same, like at all. But yeah, I will link that down below for you guys if you are interested. Okay, so next up on the Bold Marble train, I found these coasters and they are in this green marble. I got these from TJ Maxx for $7.99, which is not a bad deal at all. In my bedroom, I am going to be refreshing that. If you haven't seen my first video, this will be a good time. Well, not right now, finish this video and then go just just binge my whole channel if you haven't um but you can check out what my bedroom looks like now and i have green marble in there that i am going to be keeping um i'm just kind of sprucing it up a little bit but i don't have any coasters that are just for my bedroom and i thought these would be perfect like i said they are green marble which is very prevalent in my bedroom and um, like I have a green marble side table, a green marble 
like sculptural piece in there. It's just really good. I love how green marble looks in my bedroom. Everything is very muted. Like it's a lot of nudes, whites, and creams in there. So I just use green to add a little bit of depth and um, dimension. I really feel like green, you know, just signifies growth, health, wealth, everything good. Um, so I just thought these were perfect. I can't wait. Um, to actually put these on my like little nightstands in there so I don't have to use the ones for my kitchen or my living room. I have some coasters designated for the bedroom. The next trend that I have been loving for a while now, like a really, really long time, is round and curvy accents. Whether it be furniture or furniture pieces or accent pieces, I just love a round element because I feel like Things that are linear, um, like couches and beds are so like, they're so typical. I think that's what I'm looking for. Very beautiful. I have a lot of linear stuff here. You can't, you can't avoid linear pieces, I feel, but you can add that round element. It just really creates a lot of visual interest. And in particular, I love round pillows. You can kind of see my round pillow back here on my couch. But I was looking in my bedroom and I really don't have a lot of round pieces in there to break up all the lines. Um, so I found these round pillows at Target. They are huge, <laughs> like you can see this pillow compared to my head, and I don't have a small head. This is my big head ass cousin. You know, Bevo Lottie got more head than he got body. Um, but yeah, these are huge. I found them at Target. They were originally $20. Um, so, quick story. I went to Target after I saw them online because I just Googled flat round pillows because like I said, I'm doing a bedroom refresh. I will show you guys my mood board somewhere on the side um, to what I, I'm trying to you know put into my bedroom but I just googled flat round pillows saw that Target had some that were $20 I went to look at them they had a bunch of them they had like at least 10 on hand so I was like okay let me go home and think about it waited like two weeks and then I went to look online again at the store nearest to me and it said that they, were, they didn't have any and I was like oh my gosh because buyer's remorse is the worst. So I threw on some sweatpants and ran to my Target because you know Target, their inventory is kind of off. They'll say they don't have anything and they'll have it or they'll say they have it and don't have it. So I just took a chance and I went and they had exactly two, just the amount that I needed and they were on sale. So I got two of these and they were $6 a piece instead of 20 so I would have paid 40 for the two, but I paid 12 for the two. So I just felt like it was a match made in heaven. And I love these. I just love how these round pillows look everywhere. Everywhere I see a round flat pillow, whether it be a couch or a bed or a bench, it just looks bomb anywhere. So I can't wait. I do need to clean this off a little bit because it's very dusty. The only thing I don't like about these pillows is they don't have like a zipper where I can take the cover off and wash them. So I'm just going to have to like scrub them down, um, make sure they're really nice and clean before I put them on my bed. But these are going to be so good. I cannot wait. I cannot wait to put them on my bed. Um, and the color is bomb too. So my headboard actually kind of DIY'd it. It was a tufted headboard with nail heads. I took the nail heads out in my bedroom refresh video and actually used the tablecloth to get the effect that I wanted because I didn't want to buy a whole nother bed. I just felt like that was idiotic. <laughs> I had a perfectly good bed. I just needed to change the look of the headboard and it matches so well with it. It's muted. It's like a linen type look because it's not linen um i think it's like cotton but it's so so good i cannot wait for you guys to see how that turns out the final trend that we're going to be talking about today in this video is going to be fluted pieces i love a fluted furniture piece accent piece vase whatever i just feel like it looks so it gives me that French or Italian feel and I'm just here for it. So the first thing I want to share with you guys are these ripple glasses from Firm Living. I'm sure you have seen them all over the internet, all over social media, and I finally decided to go ahead and get me some. Um, I actually got these cheaper than what I have been seeing them for. So every other place I saw them, 
for the set of four, they were like $69 to $75. But I got these for $59 for the set on in clothing. I will link that down below. So hopefully you can get your hands on it. But before you go to purchase, just, oh shoot. Okay. So like I was saying, before you go and buy it, just watch a little bit longer because I wish I knew what I know now. Um, it probably wouldn't have changed my mind, but I just would be more prepared. So like I said, I got this set of four for $59, and then it was like $10 in shipping. And um, I went to pick it up from FedEx because I wasn't here to sign for them. And the box was kind of light, but I didn't think that much of it. I was like, these are light for these glasses. It's like four of them, why is it so light? And I opened the box when I got home. And when I opened the box that had the glasses in it, these were in there. Not gonna lie, I looked at this and I was like, where's the rest of it? That's bullshit. $59 divided by four, that's roughly $15 a glass. Where's the rest of my glass? <laughs> like, um, they don't look this small on social media when people are, you know, creating their drinks in it, but whatever. I thought I ordered like a mini version of them, <laughs> but no, this is the size they come in. So it's like 10 ounces, which isn't like even a regular size bottle of water. But what else? Um, I still love them. I'm gonna keep them. And they're also very light. Too. I thought for the price it would be a little bit heavier. I don't, it just wasn't what I was expecting, but it's still going to be beautiful. I'm still going to keep them um, because I haven't worn them for a long time. And I could have gotten like a cheaper option. I think Crate and Barrel has like a dupe for this, but I'm so like particular about stuff that I'm going to actually spend my money on because I was looking at the one from Crate and Barrel and comparing it to this. Y'all, this is gonna sound so so stupid. Y'all gonna be like, you're dumb. But the drink doesn't come all the way down to the bottom on the Crate and Barrel glass. You crazy as hell. Like, I know that's very little, but I'm very picky, you guys. So <laughs> I was like, no, I'm just gonna get what I want so I don't regret it later. And um, I really feel like, you know, this this would be cute. I do wanna get the Carif set. I think that's how you pronounce it. So I can fit more drink with me sitting down so I have to get up and keep refilling. It's not even that I'm always like thirsty cause she ain't never thirsty. Okay. Okay. Okay, where are you? So now. Um, but I just feel like I want the option to have a whole lot of drink in something I paid over $15 for. So anyway, these are the drink glasses. I do love them. I just was expecting something different. That's why I said, y'all just watch this <laughs> before you go buy them so you don't get shocked or feel like, where's the rest of my glass? <laughs> when you open the book or open the box. So these are the glasses. I will try to put up a picture of them because they all come in different like shapes. I guess you can say it's like this part is taller on some. Um, and shorter on the other. So yeah, got these, I love them, just was expecting something different. Um, but we're still gonna keep them, cause they're gonna look so cute. Oh, let me show you how they're gonna look on my fancy new <laughs> posters. Look, look how small this looks compared <laughs> to, to the base. Like, I mean, still beautiful, still cute, but where's the rest of it? <laughs> they really do need to make a bigger size because I'll definitely buy those too. But yeah, these are just cute for like, um, like a latte moment, um, a matcha. I really wanna start putting my matcha in these. And I really don't drink that much. When I do make matcha, like latte, lattes and stuff, they really aren't that big. So these might be perfect for those. Um, but yeah, moving on. Okay, moving on. So still on the ripple, ripple? Fluted trend. I got this little trinket box from TJ Maxx. It was only $14.99. And these are like the exact ones that I've seen on like, it's either CB2 or West Elm that are like $30, $40. I put them up on the side. This is not food safe. Um, I did buy this to hide my remote control, but I got home and it didn't fit. 
fail. Um, so I was like, oh, that's okay. I can still use it to put my jewelry in. Um, it's very sturdy, very heavy. I just need to get some more of like these little foam pieces that come in like, if you buy jewelry, like at um, TJ Maxx or you know where you can find like costume jewelry, they give you the box that has the little foam. I need to find some more pieces to put in here so it doesn't scratch up my jewelry when I put them in there. So it's a really good size, I really, really love it. It's white marble, like I said, um, I mean, just a nice little staple piece. This would be good to put on your nightstand so you can put like your um, chapstick or your lip balm, maybe some hand lotion, hand sanitizer, anything that's not very pleasing to the eye, but it's very essential to your life. You can just throw them in here. So it's very fluted here on the top, but it's solid on the um, sides of it. So it's a good little piece. It was only $15, like I said, so that was a steal. Got that, so excited about it. And last but not least, I got these marble bookends. Um, very excited about these. I found these in TJ Maxx for $30. They do have them on, I think it's CB2. I'm pretty sure it's either CB2, Crate and Barrel, or West Elm. I forget at the moment, but um, they're like $40 there. So, funny story. I went to TJ Maxx with my mom and my sisters and I saw these and they were both marked $29.99. And I thought in my head, I know that's not right. I know it's not $60 for the set. Um, so I went on TJMaxx.com and luckily they had them on the website and um, they were $30 for the set. So I went up to the counter and I told the associate, hey, you guys have these marked um, individually, but it's supposed to be a set and it's actually $29.99. I showed her their website. So I didn't want her to think I was like trying to price match anything. I showed her the webpage from TJMaxx.com. We were in TJ Maxx <laughs> and y'all don't know my mom and my sister, but my middle sister, me and my baby sister are alike where we're not that confrontational. Like, if I don't have to fight or argue, I'm not going to. But my middle sister and my mom, they bout it, okay? If one jump, the other one right behind. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Oh, we got a problem here? Looks <laughs> like, so I knew when the lady kind of gave me an attitude, it was gonna be not pretty. So I told the um, the associate, I was like, yeah, this is supposed to be $30 for the set. So she got on her mic, talked to whoever was on the other end of the mic, and she was like, hey, I have a customer here. Um, she showed me this set of marble bookends that we have on the website. They're actually $30, um, but we have them $60 here in the store. So then whoever she was talking to came back and was like, oh, we don't honor online prices because they're different. Huh? What do you mean? What's different? The product isn't different. The store isn't different. What's different? <laughs> so I was just like, I was about to be like, okay, don't worry about it. If y'all don't want to honor the price, it's fine. Just put it back. It's not that serious. But my mom started saying what I was thinking in my head, and she was like, what do you mean different? It's the same product. Um, same store, um, y'all can't honor the price. And she wasn't even rude, she had a very nice tone. Then the associate was like, I understand that, honey. Not honey. <laughs> now we all know, the wrong time, you use terms like honey, sweetheart, baby, you know, all those kind of terms, they can kind of seem kind of derogatory. And this wasn't the time for that lady to say that. As soon as she said, honey, my mom was like, no, I understand, honey, but these are the same. And I was like, oh my, I was like, mom, please. I just whispered to my mom, I, t I touched her hand, I was like, mom, please don't start because you know if he starts, he's gonna start. And my sister was already on edge. We was just ready to go, right? But she just, um, you know the little, it looks like a little phone or something. She went to go check the um, SKU number on it and she was like, oh, I do apologize that it's supposed to be a set. We'll go ahead and honor the price. <sighs> so these are saying, I'm not returning these. They're saying they have a good story behind them and it almost start, started a little confrontation with TJ Maxx. Um, but like I said, I love them. They are very pretty. Um, Oh, let's see if I can kind of show you. Well, let me show you one at a time so I don't drop this on my foot. So, 
It has like this fluted detail here on the outside here. And then if you turn, turn it around, it's very smooth and like glossy on this side. So love these, very pretty. They're gonna look good on either like a console table or my bookcase, bookshelf. Wherever you put them, they're gonna be bomb. Um, so yeah, like I said, they do have them. I mean, I paid $30, but they're only $40 on CB2 or whatever website it's on, so I will link them down below if you want to get your hands on them. And yeah, order them online so you don't have to go through what I went through to try to get them. <laughs> okay guys, that is it for me today. Thank you so much for tuning in and spending some time with me. Down off in the comments to let me know what trends you guys have been loving and which piece was your favorite. <coughs> Just... <coughs> Wouldn't be right if I didn't come back without choking. <clears throat> Sign off in the comments to let me know what trends you guys have been loving and which piece was your favorite in the video. I would love to chat it up with you guys. I missed you guys so much and it feels so good to be back. Don't forget to like and share. Hit that subscribe button and that notification bell if you haven't. Take care of yourselves, those around you, and your mental health. And I will see you guys in my next video. But until then, 